said, no, 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 that's just going to screw him up. But. Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. Sorry, I'm I'm wearing uh, orange. Oh. Don't boycott me. Get it off. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> Josh. Welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I love orange. I'm, I wear it all the time. I almost texted you. I was like, wear all orange. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy oh, content. Man. Thanks to Patreon for those who can subscribe to that like button. Bang! Apparently COVID didn't take out the right people. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, and apparently the Bollywood boycotters uh, figured out a even stupider reason to boycott a film. <laughs> We live in a world of doorknobs. <laughs> we just live in a world of doorknobs. You know what else we live in a world in? I've said this over and over again. We live in a world of people who want to impose their personal beliefs on other people, which is completely antithetical to a democratic society. Yeah. It happens here, too. So we're not casting stones when we ourselves have a really bad problem with that, too. But yeah. um, we just have trading cards. Beliefs, especially religious ones, should never be imposed on other people. There, we have pontificated. Uh, what about Oh, if, you have sweater weather. If you know what we're talking about. You if you know don't what know we're what we're talking about. about, you haven't been paying attention to yeah. the lovely yeah. and talented and beautiful in orange Depeka Petacon. Yeah. That's right. <sighs> I wish you would wear orange and gyrate on me. I agree. And yes, <laughs> it was a quite sexual video. And you know what? I didn't rape anybody after I watched oh, it. Isn't what? that crazy? Oh, man. Wild stuff. What? Wow. What's going on with my free will, Corbin I don't know. Miles? I don't know. Today, we got a, is a, a Shah Rukh Khan interview. What? It's actually a new interview. What? Um, and surprisingly... He should be Batman. He's talking about uh, social media a little bit in it. Uh, uh, and it's like one that he just, just did. It was like a, a short little speech he did. Uh, at some event. Okay. Uh, I think I'm a talk box. As one would show to do. Um, and so I uh, thought it was fitting for what is going on today <laughs> and the idiocy that happened uh, this morning. It was all over my feet. I was like, what the? Anyway, so that's yeah, why it's I wore, just unbelievable. That's why I wore orange. I'm glad. Uh, you, wear, you, you wear orange in more ways than one, though, because you've got quite the orange not tint orange. on your beard. You oh, have an beard. orange tint yeah. on your beard. Yeah, that is true. Shave that. It's offensive. I know. So, anyway, uh, this is uh, Shah Rukh Khan's full speech at the 28th Kolkata International Film Festival. That's what it is. Um, and this is, I'm, I'm skipping ahead a little bit because he speaks a little bit in Hindi in the beginning. Uh, and we don't know that fully right now. I just saw that. So, this is recent. Like, like probably yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, probably Yeah, because this film festival is happening right now. Yeah. And here we go. He should have worn an orange tie. I would also like to welcome all the delegates and participants for the 28th gift and assure you as the ambassador of West Bengal that the hospitality and the love that you will get here in Kolkata will be the most memorable. I wish you all a great and happy stay in the city of Kolkata. Cinema is perhaps the most important medium of modern times. From inception, humanity has built its civilization on the expression and sharing of its journey like cave paintings left behind for us to marvel at thousands of years later. The enduring printed word or the different forms of traditional theater that prevailed for centuries across the world. Cinema and in fact the advent of articulation through social media platforms have now become the foremost expression of human experience and emotion. The collective narrative of our times is shaped by social media. And contrary to the belief that the spread of social media will affect cinema negatively, I believe cinema has an even more important role to play now. Social media is often driven by a certain narrowness of view that limits human nature to its baser self. I read some way that negatively increases social media consumption and thereby increases its commercial value as well. Mm -hmm. Such pursuits enclose the collective narrative, making it divisive and destructive. Cinema exposes the vulnerability of human nature by telling stories in their simplest form as they are lived. It allows us to know each other better. In a way, it is best placed to sustain a collective counter-narrative that speaks to the larger nature of humankind. 
a narrative that brings to the fore humanity's immense capacity for compassion, unity, and brotherhood. Meeting the world at the world of cinema is the call of the day, not just meeting, but also using the power of cinema as a vehicle for people of different cultures, colors, castes, and religion to better understand each other. Through efforts like KIF, the endeavor is to build a new platform of understanding and break existing prejudices. So let's come together and build a better world for all our future generations through the medium of cinema. And let KIF and Kolkata be the place to start the journey for a new and more inclusive world. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great evening. It's wonderful to be back here in Kolkata. So I, I want to mention, I, I want to mention, you know, I, uh, we all work in films. We never get the opportunity to thank the stars behind the stars. So first of all, thank you, Kumar Shanoji, for giving me the voice people think is mine. God bless you. And thank you, Arajit, for making me sound so good. And all the people who work behind the scenes to make all of us look good, except Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. He looks good behind, on the side, <laughs> in front of the camera, on top of the camera, everywhere. I'll tell you a dialogue, I'll tell you in front of you. Thank you. <laughs> You're wanting him to say, say a famous dialogue. Yeah. I wonder what he's quoting. Let us know. <laughs> I love what he puts out his little film voice. Yeah, no. And yeah, it's good speech. Uh, it's Those were great words. Very fitting for great words. <laughs> I wonder if he no, because it was this morning that it. I don't know how long the idiocy of the the orange that bolt, been that, that that I was exposed to it yesterday. Yesterday, so yeah, maybe yesterday he had, morning. May, maybe he had already figured it out. Yeah, uh, I, by I, that time. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's not the first time something dumb no. has happened on social media, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> so, it's, I, a, it's a fitting speech nonetheless. Negative, I think you said negativity... Fee, no. Uh, um, yes. Something negativity, like, fuels social media or something. Like Which that. makes it commercially yeah. viable. Everybody... Yeah. It's like a, it's like a train wreck. E e basically. E yeah. People just, even if they don't agree, they want to watch and be entertained it's what it reminds me of the landscape of social media reminds me of the baser instincts that are revealed in human beings when they have the opportunity to riot in the midst of giant power outages mm -hmm. yeah that the baser collective mob mentality comes to view when that that to me is clear it's it's a lawless place where there's no accountability and people won't get caught so they let the the really selfish broken parts of themselves come out and they just don't care mm -hmm. the sad reality is the people who need to hear his words and understand them the most won't yeah, they either won't understand it because it's, it's at an intelligence level that transcends their capacity to comprehend or they hate him so much that they just don't want to hear anything he has to say because he's the guy in that video with the girl wearing orange so, and it's, it's, it, it just reminds me of great people throughout history who've had beautiful, wonderful visions for the world. And what the world typically does is crucify them or shoot them in the head. Yep. And it's funny, uh, in, I saw some of the, like the, um, the, the things happening, you know, with, with it online and, um, as far as people like, talking people, about like, it, like show it, like ah, uh, Depeka, blah 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 blah, and then under it, people <laughs> showed like a Akshay film where his heroine was in full orange. <laughs> like, nothing happened then. No one was angry then. <laughs> no, it's selective rage. Oh yeah, born out of prejudices and totalitarian mindsets. It's mm -hmm. it's idiocy. It's idiocy. 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 And more evidence that we live in a broken world full of really broken, ugly people. Not all of them, thankfully. 
I consider that guy to be one of the good guys. I was trying to I was trying to find it, but oh, there's somebody also said um, uh, it's under it. They said Bollywood tomorrow, and it showed the Prabhu Deva where the girl's dress kept changing colors <laughs> <laughs> like, over and over. Again. <laughs> That's great, <laughs> which I thought was very funny. Yeah. Um, anyways, it's the same. It's the same mentality behind you know the cutter or Qatar, however you want to pronounce it, World mm. Cup, telling people not to wear rainbow things. No. Oh. It's the same mentality. Well, that's also the government, though. It's, um, it's, like, it's like, for example, people, a lot of people get just completely, they lose their minds if they see somebody burning an American flag, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm the kind of guy that if I'm walk, I've done this. My wife can attest to it. She's not here today. But if I'm walking down the street and I see an American flag on somebody's house, and it's kind of like the wind has not, a, it bugs me. I want to straighten the flag out. Mm. I personally have never set an American flag on the ground. If an American flag is tattered, it really bothers me. I want it to be nice and clean and representative. Mm -hmm. But when I see someone burning an American flag, I'm thankful I live in a country where they can burn an American flag and not go to jail for it. There's really nothing more American. Absolutely. Than being able to do being that. Being able to do whatever you want. It's Stand not... in front of the White House and burn the flag in front of the White House if you are legitimately upset about what your country is doing and that's the way you want to express it. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand this level of bigotry. It just it transcends my ability Absolutely. to comprehend. And hopefully, I mean, I, Shah Rukh Khan's been in long enough to oh where God. none of this would affect him. No. Because he's... <laughs> He's seen every single bit of kind of trolling you can. Oh, my goodness. As has Dapika. So yeah. they're both. It's water off a duck back. They, they're, they're, I'm sure they don't care. You're just jealous of Shah Rukh Khan and his gorgeous muscles. Look at him. Yep. And his, his success and his wealth. Um, and. Hot damn. They're, all, they're also upset with anything that demonstrates a level of sexual freedom. Um, there's just people find far more reasons to be upset than they do to find to be joyful. I feel, I, I think I'm going to print off this. And she looks beautiful in that video. I, I, f I feel like now I want to print off the, uh, the infamous, uh, <laughs> Topeka in orange, uh, with Shower Khan holding her and yeah. like put it like right here. <laughs> just cause I'm a troll. Do That's it. That's what I like to do. Do it. <laughs> I, I just... Because uh, she looks great. Anyway, she looks beautiful. Uh, Orange is actually a good color on her. I bet that's why they chose it. There's not a bad color that you can put on Topeka. I'm that's, just going to be honest with you. That's very true. Uh, so, oh, that's a great yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's this shot he just pulled up. It's from the video, right? Mm -hmm. And he's holding she, the thigh. He's he's standing there. She has her arms wrapped around him, and he's got his hand under her leg, and you can just see the totality of her. It's a beauty. She is such a beautiful woman. She's a goddess. She's so gorgeous. Uh, Dipika Shabra Khan, come on the channel. We would love we to will, talk to you. We will wear orange all day long. Yep, I'll wear an orange bikini. I'll boycott then. Just.